How old are you? What did you study in university? How is NSS going? How has your routine changed recently? How do you come up with ideas for your YouTube? What are your hobbies or interests outside YouTube? And how do you handle negative comments? What's one thing you wish you knew when you started your channel? What is your favorite food? What's your favorite thing about creating content? Welcome to my life. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick Q&A, an updated Q&A because since I came back on YouTube after six months, seven months, since I came back on here, I just started uploading content. I didn't update you on anything and I think I owe you that update because I mean, yeah, like my little family, so why not? So I have a series of questions. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to do 10 here. So I'm going to mention the question and answer it. So the first question is, how old are you? I am 22 years old. Yes, I am a 2001 born. The next question is, what did you study in university? I attended UPSA, University of Professional Studies, Accra, and I studied accounting, Bachelor of Science in accounting. The third question, how is NSS going? NSS, if you don't know what NSS is, NSS is National Service Scheme. After you complete your undergrad, you have to do a one-year NSS. That's where you serve your nation for one year. The next question is, how has your routine changed recently? Okay, well now I'm more engaged than before. So my routine has changed in the sense that initially I used to do class, hostel, class, hostel, but now I'm doing homework, homework, homework. That's how my routine has changed. And a lot has really added up to that routine. And I think in another video I'm going to open up more because this is just going to be a short video 10 questions video. The next question is how do you come up with ideas for your YouTube? Before I came back here on YouTube I wrote down some points some video ideas that I want to make videos on for my channel but I haven't really followed it. Sometimes you just sit down and get the idea and you just do it. Like this video like this. I just got up. I was supposed to do a vlog, but I decided to do a Q&A because since I came here, I haven't updated you guys. And I thought, next question, what are your hobbies or interests outside YouTube? Hmm, okay. I love to read. I love to watch movies. I love to have alone time. I love to spend time with the family. I don't think I really have a hobby. Yeah, so that's what I do outside of YouTube. Yeah, so I don't really have a specific hobby. But then these are the few that I can mention, the few interests that I can mention. The next question, how do you handle negative comments or criticism? I just ignore them. I ignore negative comments because Charlie, what do you do for me? You don't do anything for me. So why should your opinion matter? It shouldn't. So I think everybody should adapt this behavior of ignoring people who give them negative comments because they just want you to reply them so they feel important. But if you don't reply them, then Cosmity. All these negative comments should be ignored. I don't think you should pay attention to negative comments. So me, how I deal with negative comments is by ignoring them. Because you don't add anything to my life. So why should I pay attention to you? The next question is... Um, what's one thing you wish you knew when you started your channel? 
that you don't really need to have a niche to start your channel because before i started my channel everyone was talking about having a niche having a niche means getting one thing that you are into for your channel let's say i decide to do beauty so every day i post everything about beauty always my videos are always about beauty if it's thick everything about tech but i mean youtube is just fun me like this my channel is about my life so i put everything about my life out there so i don't think it would be bad if you don't have a niche if you have a niche it's a plus but if you don't have it, i think you do well regardless so that's one thing that i wish i knew before i started my channel that you don't need to have a niche and that youtube is a waste of time youtube is not a waste of time i mean if you have a passion for it me i just love to record my life what i do so i think youtube is a waste of time if you don't get it you never get it if you don't have interest in it then you would think it's a waste of time but if i have interest in it then i'm going to, i'm not going to see it as a waste of time so the next question is what is your favorite food hmm. my favorite food is jollof jollof rice with whatever let it be jollof morning afternoon evening jollof if you need money just just buy me jollof if you need anything from me just buy me jollof if you need me to forgive you just buy me jollof tell you i'm kidding <laughs> the last question is what's your favorite thing about creating content my favorite thing about creating content is that i get to be myself i get to put the real me out there you know some people fake everything and put it out there but i'm just real i'm just me that's what i love about creating content because you get to be real this is my channel so i get to be real on here because what's there to hide so the favorite thing about creating content is being myself and engaging with you all and knowing that i have this small family on here that will appreciate whatever i put out here is there another question let me check okay that's all so i wrote them down on my other phone we are 10 if i had more than this anywho so that's it that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video and i hope now you know a little bit more about me and a little tiny bit of life updates from four months since four months three months six months anyway see you in my next video bye wow just when i decide to make a video that's when noise is going to be in the background can you imagine are you serious so, seven months anywho